In this video, we're going to be looking at a question from the Maths Leave Insert Paper 2 from 2022. You'll find some timestamps below the video if you want to skip to a specific question. And also, if you want to go to a different question that I'm covering in this video, check out the playlist that you should find a link for in the description below. And this is question two, and it's all about coordinate geometry of a circle. We have basically split into two different questions, this A and B. For part A, they give us this equation of a circle, x minus four squared plus y plus two squared is equal one six nine. And they simply ask us to find the center. Now, we need to be able to see equations like this and just write the center down. Um, go ahead and use your, your, your tables, your book, it will have a formula in there that looks just like this. It'll be x, um, I can't remember what letters they use, but it's x like, plus, I think it's h, x plus h and um, squared and k, I want to say. Anyway, it has some equations in and or squared. So you need to be able to look at this and go, ah, whatever the, this, these might be minus, by the way, minus h, minus k. I'll let you look up the book yourself. You need to be able to look at this number when it's in this format and say the center is four, the x part of the center is four, and the y part is minus two. So when it looks like this, if it looks different, you, you're gonna have to make it look like this first. And or is the square root, uh, or is equal to the square root of one, six, nine. Put that in a calculator. In this case, it does come out evenly. It comes out as 13. So that's a, a part one. For part two, they tell us, the, they ask us, is the point 11, 10 on this circle or is it inside the circle or is it outside the circle? Very common question. So, um, so hopefully you know how to do this coming into an exam. If you don't and you're watching it for that reason, how we do it? This is an X and Y point. This equation up here, the first equation here, tells us everything we need to know about points on this circle. So if we put this point into this equation, it should equal 169 if it's on the circle. If the number comes out smaller than this, it's inside the circle. And if it comes out bigger, it's outside the circle. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's write this line again, but instead of x, let's put in 11. So uh, I'll do it over here. 11 minus 4 squared plus the, instead of y we're putting in 10 10 plus 2 squared equals uh, 169 we, we don't notice you could leave this out but I'll just put it in every time and um, 11 minus 4 is 7 7 squared is 49 10 plus 2 is 12 12 squared is 144 ask a calculator you don't need to do this in your head equals 169. I can already see that this is not true. That's about 50, about 150, should equal about 200. Uh, add these together. Um, do not use, use a calculator. Don't do it in your head, but I'll risk it in my head. 193 is equal to 169. That's not true. So that's, you don't finish here. You have to write in English um, point, something like this. Point is outside outside circle uh, how do I spell circle I have no idea okay so that that'd be the answer to that question let me just show you one different way you could do it uh, I think you'd get full marks um, yeah I think you would I, I don't know if they've asked for anything specific here and um, you could draw a nice big picture you know the point is 4 minus 2 you go to 4 you go to minus two, you put a center, you get a compass, and you put 13, and that would get you all the way up to the 11 point, and you just draw a circle. And then you'd also, you did this, if you did this roughly correctly, then you put the point 11, 10, 11 and 10, it probably looks like something like this. So you'd be able to see it's outside the circle. I think you would get full marks for this if you drew a good enough question. The problem is, very often in the exam, the, the point is on the circle. And if you draw a picture, you'd never know. Like, like maybe it's a tiny, tiny bit off the circle. 
with numbers we'll always know. The final answer might say something like 93 is equal 93.1. That is not on the circle, but if you drew a picture it would look, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Okay, that's it, that might be another way you could do this question. Oh, and while I have the picture here, the reason bigger means outside, this, um, this part here looks a lot like the distance formula. If we had a square root on it, and we do put square roots on the, one six, on the radius over here. So it looks a lot like the distance formula. So basically we're saying the distance is bigger than the radius. The distance from here, or well here's the point up here, is bigger than the radius. So it must be outside. If the number was smaller, the distance would be smaller than the radius. So it's inside the circle. And when it's equal, the distance is equal to the radius. Must be on the circle. Okay, for part B, they, they drew this picture, or a better picture than mine, and they asked us to find the coordinates of any point on the circle S. This one's S, and this one is T. Any point except the one they gave us. Okay, so this is, um, if you don't know how to do this, it's a really difficult question. It's a, probably an honors level question, uh, one way to solve it, but there's a really easy way to solve it. So I'll just mention, you could try and play around with distance, um, a distance from a point to, to try and gauge some other points on the circle. You'd have to, you'd get a multivariable question, absolute, you'd have to guess an answer and, and work out from there. It would be difficult and I do not suggest doing it. How they do want you to do it, let me just draw the big circle again. They want you to think this point, this point, and they really want you to find this point over here. This is the easy one to find because they're symmetrical. If you fold your hand over, this is the same distance as this. They're going the same direction. It's symmetrical through the point in the middle. So this point is, uh, tw well, you don't need to draw them again, they're here, the numbers. 12, 11, 22, 13. So the, this, the, the going from here to here, from 12 to 22, is like going up um, 10 places. Going from the 11 to the 13 is going up two places. Going from there to there. The same is true here. You're going up 10 places and two places. So if this point is 22, I'll just, uh, uh, I'll, I'll put it in over here. 10 up from 22 gets me 32. Two up from 13 gets me 15. That's the answer, symmetry through that point. Always, symmetry comes up in maths all the time. And I'm talking like college level maths, uh, like Nobel, well not Nobel Prize, Fields Medal Prize, Symmetry is so important in mathematics. Looking for how one thing maps to another or lo looks like something else. So you don't have to do all the maths. Mathematicians hate doing maths. We love looking for these little solutions. So that's how you do that part. And uh, for part two of this question, it's also something similar. We have to use, uh, well, we can use the idea of this translation, this um, moving in the same direction. Um, to get, they want to get this point here. So they first tell us that it is half. This radius is half of this radius. My picture doesn't look like that, but they tell us this is half of this number. So um, let me show you, yeah, I'll show you a similar way than this to do it. And then I'll point out a way you could use midpoint, a midpoint formula to get it. But it'd be a lot more difficult. So the way you should be thinking of this, to go from here to here is minus 10, minus two, just like that was that way. So 22 gets to 12 by going down 10. This is half the distance. It's the same direction. So these rough numbers should work, but it's half the distance. So to go down here, it should be five and mi sorry, minus five and minus one will get us to this point. So that's simply take 5 away from 12 is 7, take 1 away from 11 is 10. That's the answer. It was just translation like that. 
and there is another way to do it um i'm sure there's a couple of ways to do it by the way there often is in these questions how i see another way to do it we have this is the middle point this will be this point here and i'll draw this one a bit more actually half that distance this point is this middle and then one more this point down here if i continue it on now this distance and this distance should be the same if this is half this is double this should equal this so what you could say is 22 13 and um, 12 11 again you could just go minus 10 would get you this point as a uh, 2 and um, 2 9 get, and get the midpoint of that but that's not what I'm suggesting although it is a perfectly okay way to do it and you could try and work out what this point is using the midpoint formula so the midpoint formula x1 uh, x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus this is not the way I would do it so I'm not going to do all of this uh, equals the midpoint but you know the answer the answer is 12 and 11 so this part is equal to 12 and you know one of these numbers this is 22 plus something you don't know plus x2 over 2 must equal 12. You could, I'll do this really quickly. Solve this. 2 multiplied by that. We get x2 is equal to 24 minus 22. And that would give us uh, this point down here, which I think I already started to write in, is 2, 9. And you would solve it equals 2. Do it again for the y's. You'd get it. And then you still have to get the midpoint of that. It's That's not a good way to do it. The first, the first quick way I showed you, that's how the examiner expects you to do it, that's how they want you to do it. Okay, I just thought I'd show you a couple of different ways. I'm sorry I went on a bit long there. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.